Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to this video. My name is Owen Fox and this video is about the power of letting go. I want to say um, that my intention for this video is to help people to understand the power of letting go and why letting go is more powerful than, than bringing in. Letting go comes first. Letting go creates the vacuum or the fertile ground, the space, the silence for wisdom, clarity, clear energy, heart, inspiration, right action and true genuine power to come on in and flow through you and the answers, the right answers, the clear answers to come to you. Um, this can be seen in nature through the power of letting go of eating, where fa fasting is nature's universal cure for all animals, which naturally fast and stop eating and lay down. They let go of activity, they let go of being vigorous and active, and they let go of food. They sit down, they rest, they, they just nibble, and possibly nibble on a few herbs occasionally, but generally they just don't even eat, it, eat at all and they just rest and their body naturally is given the space to heal. So it's not that water fasting heals, it's the fact of, of stopping, of, of cutting out, of letting go, that allows the body to heal. All great religions or all great teachers talked about fasting. So all major religious teachers such as like Buddha, Jesus, um, the Islam, Muhammad or the Islam religion, various other famous people in their history like Gandhi, Peace Pilgrim, I'm sure Moses did the fast, like fasting is nothing new, it's age old, in fact it's the, it's the oldest healing modality, it doesn't come from doing something, it comes from not doing something. Um, another really good example of the power of letting go is for example, um, the greatest power comes from the letting go of the need to try and control. You know, instead of always trying to force and control. This is this is weak, like you're so weak you have to keep fiddling in and poking and trying to control all the time. You're using loads of energy. This isn't very powerful, it, it's too much effort. The greatest power is when you, when you don't need to control. And this can be seen in nations and great teachers and also talked about in the Tao Te Ching um, by Lao Tzu. Um, the greatest med like sometimes the greatest meditations or the greatest peace simply don't come from trying hard but they come from letting go of effort and letting go of trying hard. This allows peace to come to you without you having to try and chase it and find it if you know what I mean. So it's a letting go of it's a relaxation, a letting go, a letting go of concentration, a letting go of effort a letting go of focus, a letting go of trying. The, great, the more powerful or greatest life comes from the letting go of attachment. So your action becomes more powerful when you let go of attachment to the results of needing a specific outcome. It's open to what may happen. You don't know what will happen and you're not trying to control what will happen. But you take power, like right action or powerful action, um, open action, and you have a sense of trust or faith or openness to what the universe or what life may bring back. But your action is very powerful because you're not distracted by the result, to, by waiting or hoping or needing a result over here. Bye. All right, see it? You're, you're full-fledged power on energy is in the doing itself and that's where you can give 100% much more than trying to be distracted of needing an outcome. This reminds me of a story about, um, where did it come from? I think I read it in, um, the, not, not, not the Tao Te Ching but some, some other book really similar to that. Uh, the story was <laughs> the archer when he's focusing when he is fully focused in the present moment, in the now, his undivided attention is on hitting the target. But if he thinks about the future and fame, fortune or winning, his, his, his attention is divided and he's much more likely to miss the target. 
and this can be symbolic of the target of succeeding, so-called success in, the, in our life, in the present moment right now. Another example of where letting go is um, very powerful is, let's say there's two people arguing, neither of them will let go of their standpoint. They have their rigid fixed standpoint, their opinion, and maybe they're both trying to force it, the other person to agree with them. Um, as soon as you need one person to let go of the constant like coming back and forth, okay, because that's where arguments will happen and continue and even escalate. But as soon as one person has the, the clarity and the power to let go, and to create a space of silence and to um, give the other person the, allow the room and the allowance to say what they want to say. And for then, when you be quiet, you can listen then, because only then can you really listen when you sit back and center, center yourself a little bit. The argument will deflate, and let's say you be quiet and listen for a few minutes, like two, one minute, two minutes, three minutes. Let's say you take a little break, okay? You, you let go of needing to push forward and fight and force. When you have words to come to you after this break, they're going to be much more clear, powerful, meaningful, impactful words that you'll say back to this person. And when you let go and create that space within you and in the, in the room or the environment or the place that you're having the argument. The whole atmosphere will change. So, so you, from you letting go, when you actually take action then, so from, from letting go first instead of your continuous action, 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 from, take, from taking a break, when you come back again, you'll have far more powerful clarity and insight and powerful, meaningful, impactful words. So, I always say, healing comes from letting go, and then creating a space for opening up and expansion. So, expansion needs the, the room, the vacuum, the space, the letting go first. It's a bit like nature, or the feminine and the male, the male and the female. The feminine is more like the yin, receptive, restorative, healing factor, the, the more passive factor. Okay, like the womb and the woman, for example, um, which facilitates growth. And gr growth itself is actually comes from the container, like the, the female or the yin. Growth itself is considered and the yang, the opposite of yin. So growth and motion and movement and activity is a y yang energy. And life is comprised from yin and yang. Everything, life is seasonal. Um, like nature, it's cyclical like nature and it's comprised of yin and yang everything is a mixture of opposite polarities coming together in, a, in, a, in a, like a black and white so it's not black or white, everything is a mixture of grey everybody is good and bad or has good and bad qualities everyone is both kind and unkind, everyone is both um, generous or selfish Everyone is both energetic and tired at different times. Everyone holds the, it's the it's the one quality with just different sides of the of the pendulum or different sides of the spectrum or the, or different sides of the polarity. So, wisdom is found by understanding balance and yin and yang, which they're the same thing basically. Like if you know the idea is basically the same. Yin and yang are the opposite part, the opposite ends of the same thing, and different like opposite um, characteristics and the entire middle section as well. And balance is striking the middle. So that's where wisdom and like, great sort of power or effective action is found. All of our bodies and organs and systems and cells, like all of our body, our bodies, like all. <laughs> Our bodies, organs and cells all work together in a harmony and they, some things work more at this time of the day and the Chinese identify this, some organs work more during the night or empty more, clean more, are more active at different times of the day. And other polarities in life is like sleep, sleep and rest against um, wake and activity, day and night, male, female. Um, so letting go is one 
part of the spectrum of holding on or doing. So if you want to become clear in your life on certain problems or finding solutions, you might need to think about what are you doing that's either too much or too little because that's when, you, that's when you've left balance. Harmony and balance will come together in the centre and that's where insight and clarity and wisdom is found in the centre. But as long as, when, whenever you do too much or too little, especially for too long, <laughs> if you do too little for too long, you'll have a problem. Or if you do too much for too long, you'll have a problem. And you'll get sick or you'll get stressed or knocked off balance, centre and harmony. So this applies to everything in life. It's really, 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 really important to know and to understand. So what's really important for you to take away from this video is to look at yourself and reflect and to question yourself where are you going sort of wrong in life so to speak where are you missing the mark where are you doing things to the extreme of either too little or too much and how can you restore more into the center more balance there's a book i haven't read but I'm, i heard it's very good it's called the middle theory by a friend of mine on the internet called deshawn fox a lovely dark brown colored man has a lovely family and a wife and kids and uh, yeah, I probably would recommend this book because I have faith and trust in it. Um, of course, if you're interested, I have a book too, um, and I have another one coming out. Uh, it involves all sorts of stuff about body, mind, spirit, um, mostly spirituality. But yeah, if you're looking for a book about balance, I'm sure his book would be fantastic. It's called The Middle Theory, and if you message him, tell him I recommended him or suggested him, just for, this, for the fun and the connection of it. <laughs> That'd be nice for me, it'd be fun and nice. And for him too probably, to notice someone cares for him and someone recommends him. It's lovely when someone like that who produces the work, hears back, personally I produce work and stuff to help people. And when I hear back it's very sort of rewarding and happy and satisfying. So, is there anything else on them? I hope this video has like helped bring clarity about creating a space, creating balance, understanding yin and yang and the power of letting go before you take action or expand. It's very important to create a fertile ground to be able to receive as well as to be able to give and how it's not always about taking things or doing things such as like food, simply trusting in the power of God or the universe and creation or all that is your fundamental innate intelligence of the universe within your body to heal itself. So one thing about fasting, just always do be careful. Start off very small, know your body, work up gradually. Like cause the sicker you are, sometimes people can have problems with fasting. Maybe if you're very emaciated, um, or maybe I'm not too sure what else. So just do your research. I'm not trying to re necessarily recommend anything in this video but I'm just talking about things that you can learn more about. We should all take responsibility for our life and not to blame anybody, not to give our power away, but to claim our power and to take responsibility. And there's a, such a powerful quote that I'll leave you with this finally in the video, okay? When you take responsibility for everything in your life, that's when you can change anything in your life. When you don't take responsibility for everything in your life, you, don't, you cannot change anything in your life. Or everything at least. You have to take responsibility and stop blaming. And then you can change anything. Okay, well. Thanks for watching and much love and wish you all the best. So, see you again another time. And, <laughs> and uh, don't forget to subscribe, to share, to like, favourite, or comment and leave your thoughts and your experiences under the video, and I'll see you again another time. Bye now. I'm just making a video about fasting. Okay, cool. So, how's it going? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, do you want to watch? Um, you can't, it might be distracting a little bit. Do you know, do you know when people are watching you? So, yeah. Uh, do you have YouTube? Huh? Do you have the internet? Uh -oh. Do you ever watch YouTube now? Mm? Do you ever watch YouTube?
That's SF. Sometimes. SF. Hmm. What are you doing?